Hey YouTube, welcome back to Poor Redneck World. Well, this is going to be the next installation, video 3 of Project Silver Slider 2001 Chevy Cavalier. Also going to demonstrate a good way to check for a blown head gasket. So, here's what we got. Uh, in my last video, I was trying to uh, check out what was going on with it. It wouldn't start. It didn't sound like it had proper compression um, so just for sheer luck of it I pulled the cap off the radiator reservoir bottle plugged off the overflow hose and blew into it with the spark plugs out and I can hear compression or I can hear pressure leaking somewhere and I thought it was one of the cylinders so just got done doing a um, cylinder leak down test I bought this um, cylinder leak down checker tester at Harbor Freight and I don't remember what I paid for it it's something like 40 bucks or something like that now um, there's a difference between a cylinder leakage test and a compression test just wanna specify that for anybody out there that you know why aren't you just doing a compression test on it uh, so the reason why I'm not going to do a simple compression test on it, or I didn't do a simple compression test on it, was a compression check will only tell you whether or not you have adequate cylinder compression. And if you have a drop-off or a complete lack of compression, it'll tell you, hey, you've got, you know, 20 PSI where you should have 60 or 100, 120. Or you have 0 PSI, obviously there's a problem. But a compression test will not indicate where the leakage is going. Could be going past the rings into the crankcase. Could be going past the um, head or the uh, head gasket into the coolant system, such as the case here. Could be going into just outside the block. Could be going through the intake valve or the exhaust valve. There's just a lot of different places that you could be losing compression in an engine. So. A compression check will tell you whether or not you've got adequate compression. It won't tell you, however, where the compression loss is located. Well, that is to say where the compression is going. So, got my cylinder leakage tester hooked up. I've already done all four cylinders. And I didn't bother rotating the engine uh, for the compression stroke because I figured with the way that the engine was behaving if there was compression loss it really didn't matter all that much which orientation the pistons were in to determine if I had a head gasket issue and I was right cylinder one was leaking somewhere I could hear it cylinder three and four not so much cylinder two which is what I'm connected to right now was the culprit so anybody who out there doesn't have or doesn't know what a cylinder leakage checker is just it's just a series of gauges you've got one gauge indicating um, incoming pressure from your air source another gauge indicating the pressure being held inside the cylinder and with the regulator it's fully adjustable and so you can adjust the gauge up and down to what you want and you can see the the gauge here you've got you know yellow red green all those different one indicates you know you've got a lot of leakage one, one another one indicates you've got moderate another one indicates that your cylinders in good shape so anyway kind of all of a moot point since I've already discovered that I certainly have a complete compression loss on cylinder number two so what we're going to do is we've got our flexible hose hooked into cylinder two then the hose comes down connects to our tester and then we've got our hot air source coming in from the very noisy air compressor in the garage so we'll get this set up and kind of show you what we've got happening here. Okay, so the air source is hooked up. And I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. You can hear air just... And I could smell from the time I tried to start it by pouring raw fuel down the intake. I could smell gasoline fumes permeating out of this bottle. And we'll try to do a little... I don't know if I can do this one. Well, we'll try it first with the cap on. Put the cap on there. Okay. Then we're going to have to set this down for a second. Grab our latex glove. There we go. 
and there you go. It's inflating the glove. Boy, is it ever inflating the glove. That's a cylinder number two. So, we've definitely got <clears throat> a blown head gasket. Cylinder leakage on cylinder two. Cylinder one also sounded like it was leaking pretty substantially, but I wasn't getting anything out of the coolant system, making me think that the rings may already be roasty toasty on this engine. So, here we go. So there we go, there's our diagnostics of the 2001 Chevy Cavalier four-cylinder. So now the um, question, as I mentioned earlier in the, in the uh, last video, was do I go in and purchase a head gasket for this car, the bolts and all the associated components that I need for a head gasket replacement and head job, or do I simply find another engine? Pull this one out, drop the other one in. And I tell you it's going to cost around $100 for the head gasket set. Haven't checked online yet, but at the local auto parts store, that's about what it's going to range. Then I got bolts, that's another $25. And a few other odds and ends. I would want to replace the timing on it since I have no clues to whether or not the timing's ever been touched. Just the normal stuff that you would want to do when you're tearing into an engine. Plus, personally, I don't ever pull a head that I know has been overheated and has resulted in a head gasket being blown and put it back on without having the head gone through. That's, you know, valve job, new stem seals, check the head for straight, you know, do whatever work that needs to be done there. And it's actually been a while. So, this engine has over 200,000 miles on it. And in my experience, with dealing with four cylinders, not so much six or eight I don't know why it is with four cylinders I've blown rings on engines by replacing the head gasket and overhauling the head uh, on a high mileage engine so in all likelihood I think probably what I'm gonna do is pull this engine out and drop another one in so anyway this is video three on the 2001 Chevy Cavalier four-cylinder um, that's just a pretty run-of-the-mill way of diagnosing for a blown head gasket of course you know obviously if you can get the engine to run which this one wouldn't even start for me and you put coolant in the bottle and it's running and chugging away and you've got compression gases coming up out of the bottle and coolant coming out of the tailpipe well duh that's an obvious no-brainer but um, such as in the case of this car, it won't even run. It didn't even try for me to start. So, uh, yeah, blown head gasket. And uh, that's basically where I stand. So, thanks for watching. Comments, welcome. If anybody uh, has one of these cars or has a car with the same uh, engine with this much miles or more, hey, feel free to drop a comment I've never owned a Cavalier I've never driven a Cavalier and this will be my first so peace out